I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to fall over, make a mistake. That oftentimes cripples people on the onset of getting to, into anything. The first time I ever picked up the DJ decks, I was horrible, horrible now. But I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid of that feeling. It actually propels me, it works quite the opposite. Be yourself, love who you are, and be compassionate. And then give that love and compassion and kindness to everyone around you, and it will always come back to you. Nobody in life is flawless. Nobody is perfect. You know, perfection is, is something that really exists when you're talking about individuals. It's impossible. You can try to be as perfect as you want, but ultimately, you're going to come across mistakes. Right. You're going to come across flaws. And I think the real perfection is in, is in perfecting your imperfections. That's how you get to a place where you can ultimately be happy with who you are. I was willing to die doing something I love. So if you're willing to die to do something that you love, 99% of the time you're going to come out on top. So, just like Kobe Bryant, right. Michael Jordan, Killer Instinct, you know? You got to take the shot, even if you miss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fearless. You got to take the yeah. shot. No one's coming. No one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. Don't react against a bad situation. Merge with that situation instead. And the solution will arise from the challenge. Because surrendering yourself doesn't mean giving up. It means acting with responsibility. I think the hardest lesson a young person has to learn in their 20s is um, you are not the main character in everybody's story. Man, life's short. Go harder than you did last year. Mm. Mm. Whatever you thought you did, it wasn't enough. Mm. And enjoy it even more. Believe that. Go harder and find a way to enjoy it. That's when you mastered the game. Mm. Are you interested in achieving these goals or are you committed? If you're interested, you'll do what's convenient. You'll come up with stories and excuses and reasons why you can't and you'll use your education as an excuse, you'll use your story as an excuse, you'll use all of that as your reasons why you can't. But if you're committed, you will do whatever it takes. You'll let go of your stories. You'll let go of your excuses. You'll let go of all the reasons you currently have that are formulating your identity of yourself. And you'll learn how to let that go and become who you are destined to become. Think strategic all the time. Before any action or any inaction, ask yourself this question. Is this action going to make me stronger or weaker? Will this action move me toward the strategic long-term goals I am trying to achieve in my life? And do not lie to yourself. You have to tell yourself the truth. And the truth is, you have time. You have the skill. You have the knowledge and the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. You cannot get people to believe in your dream until you believe in it yourself. Nobody's gonna put into your dream before you put in. You have to invest in what you dream for. Do you have anything that you're dreaming that you're willing to be committed to enough to see it happen? 90% of your energy, focus, time, and thought should be towards the solution, not towards the problem itself. This is a mistake most people make because they expend all the energy into the problem. And when you expand energy, it grows to survive. And the problem gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And the solution becomes more and more difficult. The hardest part about change is not making the same choice as you did the day before. And the moment you decide to no longer think the same way, make the same choice, act the same way, create the same experience or live by the same emotion, it's going to feel uncomfortable. And the moment you feel uncomfortable, you just stepped into the river of change. Short-term thinking says the donut tastes good, eat it. Short-term thinking says one workout doesn't matter. I can see. 
Short-term thinking encourages you to make short-term emotional decisions that hurt you in the long run. Think strategic. Think long-term. Act strategic. Take action that improves your long-term position and moves you toward your long-term goals. You need to win battles in order to win the war. You need to get out of bed, you need to run, you need to work out, you need to read and study and practice, and you need to do things that you don't necessarily want to do. Get out of your damn bed, get off your phone, and you need to go out there into the world and get after it. People think of freedom as the ability to implement your whim. And freedom opens up that as a possibility. But sustainable freedom, that isn't what it's about at all. It's about, it's primarily about responsibility. It's about determining which load you're going to pick up and carry. That's the proper definition of appropriate freedom. We have pain, we have suffering, we react. And we react about, get the f out of here. It's those people who are able to control that feeling of flight and say, no, I'm a good. There's a way through this. It's, it's going to end. It's going to end, but we don't know that. We don't think that. At that time, it's going to last forever. So what keeps me going? I've quit several things. I know what's on the back end if I can quit. And it's a lifetime of thinking about why the f did I do that? And I ain't doing that no more. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If, if it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. Whatever you're going through right now, it's happening on purpose in order to forge you into the person that you were created to be ultimately. But if you quit, you will never get to be the person that you were created to be. Everybody has a turn back moment. You have a moment where you can go forward or you can give up. But the thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. That's the guarantee of quitting, that it will never happen, no way under the sun. Every champion has felt it. Every president has felt it. Every king has felt it. Every lion has felt it. Every winner has felt it. Every soldier has felt it. Every victorious person has felt it. The urge to quit. Seven billion people need to change the conversation of what success looks like. It is not to make a billion dollars. It is to actually wake up in the morning and be in a good mood. Nobody is perfect. People are gonna tell you you're perfect just the way you are. You're not. You are imperfect. You always will be, but there is a powerful force that designed you that way. And if you're willing to accept that, you will have grace. You gotta have a plan. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. What's the plan? And your plan has got to have something I call the C5 complex. Your plan has got to be clear, concise, compelling, consistent, and committed. You've got to have a plan. And when you're trying to do something that you're truly passionate about, there is no plan B. It's all in your mind. Whatever you hold in your mind will tend to occur in your life. If you continue to believe as you have always believed, you will continue to act as you have always acted. You will continue to get what you have always gotten. If you want different results in your life or your work, all you have to do is change your mind. When you are struggling and you start thinking about giving up, I want you to remember the power of hope. The belief that something better is always possible if you're willing to work for it and fight for it. Our hope that if we work hard enough and believe in ourselves, then we can be whatever we dream, regardless of the limitations that others may place on us. The hope that when people see us for who we truly are, maybe, just maybe, they too will be inspired to rise to their best possible selves.